Hello everyone, and welcome to my Excel series, where I will be covering numerous functions, starting today with sum, difference, product, and quotient. In order to use the sum function, type in equals sum, open bracket, and then there's two ways you can go about it. You can either highlight a row or column of cells, like so. That is the first way, and it will surmise any cell that you highlighted in that section. The second way, in case you didn't want to highlight every single one of them, is equals sum, open that bracket. You can then click on a cell, put a comma, and then click on another particular cell, skipping some in between, like so. And it works out just fine like the first version. Now, the difference. There isn't actually a function anymore for difference. Instead, if you want to subtract two numbers, you will just have to plug in the equal sign, find your first number, put in the minus sign, and then find which number you want to subtract from it, for example, 7 minus 3. It would then return 4. Now, for the product function, it works very similar to the sum function. You put in equals product open bracket, and you can highlight a series of cells, and it will multiply anything that's highlighted together, or you can pick out multiple cells yourself, like so, one, three, four, and then we'll get 12. Now, for the last function is the quotient function. Now, the funny thing about this function is that it doesn't actually give you a decimal if there happens to be a decimal in your answer. So, for example, if your numerator is 4 and your denominator is 2, you're going to get 2 dead on. However, if you have a numerator of 5 and a denominator of 3, you're not going to get that perfect number with the decimal. It's just going to give you how many times 3 goes into 5 as a whole number. And that's only one. If you found the video today helpful at all, please leave a like or subscribe. If there's anything else you would like to see me cover in the future, please leave a comment down below.